Hello and welcome to this My Theme Shop video screencast. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to use the unlimited sidebar option for creating custom sidebars for different sections of your site that's available with some My Theme Shop themes. Now, if this is available with your theme, you're going to want to head to Appearance and then Theme Options. As you can see, I'm using the blogging theme, but um, this option is the same for all themes, so it doesn't matter which theme you're using as long as this option is available. You want to scroll down and then click on Sidebars, and this is going to take you to the Sidebar Manager. This gives you full control over your sidebars, and here you can manage sidebars and select one for each section of your site. Or in using the post or page editor, you can select custom sidebars on a per post or per page basis. Now the way this works is that you can create a sidebar using this button here and then apply it to different sections of your site. And you're going to see these are all the different sections you have available. You've got things such as your homepage, single post, single page, and so on. You can create your sidebar just by pressing this button here, add sidebar. And you want to add a name and an ID. So here we're going to add um, one for single posts. So I'll just call this single sidebar and we'll just add an ID, sidebar single. You want to press OK and then save your changes. And once that's done, you'll be able to apply it using the options below. Now you can apply this by using this drop down here and selecting from the default sidebar, the homepage sidebar, which will be automatically added for most themes. And if it isn't, you can just add one by pressing add sidebar and also the any sidebars you create. Here on the home page, you can see I've got this set to default. Um, but if I wanted to change this to home sidebar, I could just press this button in order to do that. If I wanted to apply my single sidebar to posts, you can see here with this option, I can do so here. I can also choose not to have a sidebar on pages on posts where that's appropriate. So I can't have that on the home page, but with single posts and single pages and so on, I will be able to do that. I'm going to set that to single sidebar. You can also set the same sidebar to multiple locations. So I might want to have my single page with the single sidebar as well, as well as maybe archives. Once you're done, you want to save your changes. And those changes are going to be made immediately on your site. So if we scroll down, you can see we've got the rest of the options here. And if you want to select your sidebar for any of those options, you can just select that using the drop down. And to create additional sidebars, you can just press add sidebar and um, let's add in a name here and also an ID. So if I just create an extra sidebar here and save that, then I'll show you what that looks like if we wanted to add that perhaps to the uh, 404 page. You can see we've got the drop down here. We can just select extra sidebar. You've also got options if you're using the WooCommerce plugin um, for shop pages and single products, but you will need to have the WooCommerce plugin installed in order to use that. You want to save your changes as always once you are done. So you can set the sidebars up here and once you're done you want to head to appearance and then click on widgets and here you're going to find all of the different sidebar areas you have created. So you see we here we have the default sidebar, the homepage sidebar, the single sidebar and the extra sidebar and you can create your widget content for each of these as you would normally. You've got your widgets on the left hand side and you can just drag and drop these in order to add them in. So I might want to add a tag cloud, for example, to my normal sidebar. And I can do that just by adding that in here by dragging and dropping. I can add a title and then save that. You can move your widgets around the different widget areas just by dragging and dropping. So for example, if I wanted to have this in my extra sidebar, I can just drag and drop that there. So we can see on the default sidebar, we've got um, a post slider, a Facebook like box, and then popular posts. On the homepage, we've got the subscribe widget for WP subscribe pro, as well as the categories widget. Finally, for single sidebar, we've got the post slider and popular posts and the extra sidebar, we've got tag cloud. You can edit any of these just by clicking here um, and then either deleting, uh, editing this and so on here. If, for example, with the single sidebar, I wanted to um, remove the post slider, I could just do so here. If we now have a look at what that looks like on our site, we can see that on the home page, we've got um, the standard home page and then the subscribe box and then categories. But if we click onto a post, we're going to see we've got this single sidebar with just these popular posts. And you can edit any of these as you would normally. If we just head to a 404 page, um, we're going to see we've got tag cloud. 
And if we just do a search here, um, we'll be able to see that on the regular sidebar, we've got featured posts as well as Facebook and popular posts below that. So you can see the real customization options available here. Just one more feature to show you then, if you had to post and then click on a post and it's the same for pages, then you're going to see that you've got the option on the right hand side here to choose the sidebar that displays on your post and it's the same for pages on a per post or per page basis. You can use this drop down to choose between any of the custom sidebars you've created, including the home page sidebar for me, single sidebar, extra sidebar, and no sidebar. So here I might set it to home page just for that um, sign up box. You can also choose whether to have the default side left or right. I might have this on the left hand side with that um, home page sidebar there. You can just update your post and indeed your page as well. And if you now have a look at that on your site, you're gonna see that those changes have been made immediately. So I've now got that left aligned um, sidebar that's the same as on the homepage. So if we just check out the homepage, we're gonna see that same thing on the right hand side. So using the unlimited sidebars is a really powerful way of customizing your site. You're gonna see that under appearance and then theme options, you've got the main options for creating the additional sidebars. You can go to the sidebar one here and create custom sidebars and apply them to whole sections of your site here, as well as put custom widgets in your sidebar areas, to in your widget areas here. You can drag and drop the widgets you want to display using this menu here under appearance and then widgets in order to customize the look of your site. So this is a really powerful way of customizing your site. Really great feature on My Theme Shop themes. Any queries, head over to community.mythemeshop.com and thank you very much for watching.